In this Two Americas edition, you're going to hear the breeze, crashing waves, and squawking seagulls. You know these are sounds of the beach, and they make up the America you know and the America you might not. Millions of beachgoers take trips to our country's coasts every year, but do you know exactly what's in the water? Sometimes it's poop. Just after sunrise, it's quiet and calm here at Corpus Christi McGee Beach. Only birds, an occasional cyclist, and rocking waves break the silence. I love our Gulf beaches. Millions of people visit the Texas Gulf Coast every year. Everyone should be able to swim in the Gulf and in our beaches without fear of getting sick. From here, it looks like a good day to take a dive, but you have to really look inside to tell. We're testing bacteria levels, specifically enterococci. When water tests positive for this class of bacteria, that means fecal matter, also known as poop, is present. And therefore, you'll probably also find disease-causing bacteria, viruses, and microorganisms. This danger can't be seen from a bird's eye view or with a zoomed-in shot. It takes special equipment. I have my collection stick. LaDonia Parr, a public health technician, is part of a nationwide beach monitoring effort. I have my portable cooler with ice. This is where samples from 49 spots in the Texas Coastal Bend are stored until tested at the lab. We want to ensure that when people come to the beach that they're not going to get sick. Parr goes in at least two feet deep to grab about three and a half ounces of seawater. So that's my sample, sample number one. She does this 50 more times every one to two weeks. We shake up the sample and has results in 24 hours. These glowing blue bubbles mean this water is positive for fecal bacteria. The goal is to see as little glow as possible. If they see the sign open and it says warning, Stay out for the day. Gulf Coast beaches have had problems for years. Now they're not everywhere, but when seawater is potentially unsafe, these bright orange signs will let you know. So everything's good. This one was folded during our visit to Corpus Christi's Cole Park. Unfortunately, some of the uh, worst beaches for fecal bacteria in the state are in the in Nueces County and Corpus Christi area. Luke Metzger is with the Environment Texas Organization. Its latest report shows 55 Texas beaches had potentially unsafe fecal bacteria levels for at least a day. Cole Park did the worst, having potentially unsafe seawater for 62 days of testing time. The things that you can get from, from bad water quality you know, can be anything like sinus issues, gastrointestinal issues, uh, ear issues. Um, to more serious things. Years ago, Neil McQueen unknowingly surfed over a sewer line break in California. My throat started swelling up, you know, within hours, um, and I came down with a bad cold. The problem is that our infrastructure is badly outdated. Sewage systems can get overwhelmed when it rains, which can lead to overflowing. Raw sewage can enter, you know, into our creeks and uh, flow, you know, into our uh, Gulf waters. And there are 80 to 100 stormwater outfalls on the Corpus Christi Bay. Congress is making historic infrastructure investments, but more needs to be done. Advocates push communities to contact elected officials for more backing on clean seawater. Also, don't forget to scoop the poop. If we all do just a little part on any given day, it's going to help. Uh, you know, when we do have that rain event or it's going to help what ends up in our bay. The more you know, huh? <laughs> you know, I, yeah, or, or didn't want to know, maybe. Right. Um, so, so you got your number one thing <laughs> to check off is sunblock, but you may want to make sure you don't step into the number two. <laughs> That's a good one. There are multiple ways to check bacteria levels before you head out to the beach. One of them is through texasbeachwatch.com. On there, you can see bacteria counts along the coastal bend. And right now we're seeing a lot of green, some yellow. This means medium to lo or low to medium counts of bacteria. Well, I feel better. There is some someone out there and there's a group out there yeah. monitoring this and keeping track. So definitely we don't uh, get sick.